There is nobody here who's better than me. Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. Get what you need? Ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses weren't no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. I, 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 Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? <sighs> I'm going to take him back to a nice, quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. Let's go! We ain't the only ones with an interest in these here fellas. All right. I know a secluded spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. To the left! We don't want to roll through town with these bodies! Where are you? Come on, don't be shy! What did you say? I didn't say nothing! Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. I killed everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. They're coming after us. Get us out of here. We don't see them bodies first. Give them up, you lazy bastard. I'm going to look for the map back here. You try to take those damn rednecks. This all be over soon. You can still run away! Come on, let's get this wagon moving! All done with this one! Are you hiding something, Seth? Oh, you naughty little boy! Hey, you handsome fella. Ooh, oh, oh, a bottle of elixir! Thank you, my friend! Can't you see we're in a rush here? Move them horses, damn it! Do you be my friends? Well, look at this. 
Some elixir. Go left here, partner. Keep in touch, old pal. Just going on a little trip. Make a left. Cross the left. It's the map. I found the map. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. There we go.
Yes, boy, you, you missed it properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Mick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Here, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's going to turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? <laughs> Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, y'all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy? Oh? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy. Oh. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. So your mom was too busy putting glasses on her back. She too mad. You're gonna hurt for this, I reckon. I always do have to laugh, laugh well, boy. <laughs> Nicely done, lad. Now come help me up, will you? A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Ah. All righty, my guardian angel, this way. It's too far to walk. Mount up, fella. This is turning into a hell of a day. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thickest thieves ever set, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The Teven bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I can't enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. We ain't welcome here, mister. Move along. Back off now. Who the hell is Are you gunmen or just a local shark?
Say you want It's not here. That lion sack of shit! Sorry, partner. That's the flower.
make this quick. Mr. Marston, sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> <laughs> Friends! Hard-working souls of uh, plain view, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, swelling. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody give me that thing back. I think it's time we relocated our business, John. Let's go, my boy. I think we've outstayed our welcome here. That's it. You ain't gonna leave here walking, friend.
more of your happy customers, are there? Ignorance is in no short supply around here, John. Keep that dollar for ready, my dear boy. What do these numbskulls expect? There are goals. That's not what you've been promising, are you? I hope you got money for a funeral. For a man of the people, you sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. <laughs> a change of career. I will never give up on science, John. How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. My dear boy, you saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Uh, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <laughs> <laughs>